hello welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna start on a uh, brand new software uh, for cad modeling called cure parametric and uh, this tutorial will be useful for people who are just going to start learning cure parametric who have no idea how the software works and uh, people who are coming from other cad programs like solidworks uh, inventor katya or maybe any other CAD programs, they can also utilize this beginner tutorial to get the concepts of uh, Creo Parametric. So yeah, uh, Creo Parametric is basically uh, used in um, all across the industry, be it automotive, industrial, or aerospace. Uh, it's a widely used uh, program uh, for CAD modeling. So. Uh, just like any other CAD tool, we can use uh, Creo for CAD modeling, assembly, sheet metal design, and mold design, uh, obviously creation of drawings, and manufacturing. So it's a pretty uh, rugged software, and uh, you should be uh, you should be uh, able to uh, learn the basics in this video, and uh, I will. Uh, make sure the video is smooth and uh, uh, I will cover all the concepts. So yeah, let's begin. So this is all about introduction to Creo Parametric. So Creo Parametric, as I told you, you can do all the different uh, modes such as sketch part, assembly, drawing and manufacturing. Uh, here also you can see if I go for new, this is the Creo uh, 8, 8.0. Uh, version if I go to new we have all the different types of uh, mode that we get for Creo so sketch part assembly all this different and then subtype as solid bulk sheet metal harness will also come if you are going to design uh, like that so you can obviously use default template or you can create your own so if I uncheck that you can see these many templates are there you can also browse and open your template so these are pretty much basics of uh, Creo and uh, in this also we can see uh, feature based nature so feature based ma nature means if you have any model and uh, you are making some changes it will reflect right over it like make sure like you made a whole um, contour bore hole and then you modified it to simple hole it will be reflected right through it other than that it has a bi-directional associativity so it means when you uh, create a model and the drawing and if you make the changes in the model the changes will also reflect in the drawing so this is bi-directional associativity and after that uh, you can also have a parametric nature so parametric nature means the feature of part becomes interrelated whatever changes you are making in the part it will reflect in the drawing that is parametric apart from that we have a source center so here you can see if you go on this ptc learning connector you can connect your learning you can also search for any commands over here if you want to learn about it so this is pretty much uh, the beginner uh, useful tool so you can use it to utilize how the different functions are and how to utilize that function Apart from that, make sure you know what dimension means, constraint, parameter, relation, weak dimension, weak constraint, strong dimension, strong constraint, and uh, file menu options. So these, you can see, are all file menu options. Just left click on it and you will see new open all these uh, different options that we are getting. Apart from that, uh, select working directory is very important because uh, if you can read the uh, uh, basic definition of selecting working directory is you are telling the Creo parametric that whatever I am going to design you save it in this particular folder so you can obviously create a new folder before the start of any project or in the uh, after you are finished designing also you can create and then save it to that but before make sure you select this before only that is the healthy uh, way of working in Creo. Apart from that, we have uh, Navigator. So, these all are 
common folders folder browser favorites you can assign your favorite folders in here like i have these two apart from that uh, we can also see the folder tree so if i select any new part i will go to my let's give it part solid and uncheck this because i have my own uh, template part mm okay so this is my default part settings and here you can see uh, these are the different uh, options so if i go to file menu we have new we have uh, option to open file you can select any folder and uh, open the file you can also preview it from here so let's say if i open this it's gonna look like this and after that uh, you can also go for different options over here save as so save a copy you can save the current version of the um, file uh, or the part save a backup means you take a backup of this complete uh, directory after that you can mirror a part also which is lessly uh, very less i have used i can print you can close you can manage file in the manage file you can come and rename this uh, delete old versions if you have any all these are used later uh, in the prepare we can go for model properties and change these material units accuracy mass properties and few other uh, data for the part after that we have uh, send uh, we have manage session so these all are used later we have help option so you can log in support case in creo ptc creo and uh, you can connect uh, your connector from here ptc learning connector you can see you can connect it from here and then we have options go to options we can see how to change the model display if i go for ok see how the model display changes after that we have uh, so this is the model tree as you can see model tree over here whatever uh, whatever feature you are going to add to this part it will keep on adding you can drag this handle just like this to go above how the part is designed so we have all our basic planes right plane top plane front plane coordinate system and then the features that are subsequently used to design this part that all will come under model tree after that we have uh, uh, mouse shortcuts so for mouse shortcuts if you just scroll your mouse wheel it will go zoom in and zoom out okay if you hold the middle mouse button and rotate it just press and rotate your uh, press the middle mouse button and uh, pan your uh, mouse over on the surface so it will you can view it like a 360 view and then if you press control if you press control and uh, see if now if i press control and middle mouse button the rotation is fixed i cannot go behind the model if you leave the control i can go behind the model so like that you can use if i press shift i can pan my model like this shift mouse uh, shift button keyboard and middle mouse button and then uh, drag your mouse like this so you can pan apart from that i don't think so we are going to utilize mostly middle mouse button press and then you can see all around the model that is the most useful function after that we have uh, the ribbon so this all options that you are seeing these all are called ribbons so model and then analysis very useful simulation annotate tools view these all come under ribbon options so ribbon 
is very useful and uh, make sure you utilize all the functions as per the usage also we have uh, the quick action toolbar so this in the top also you can see new open save so this is quick access toolbar if you don't want to go to file just press save here and it will be saved see one has been saved apart from that we have a graphics toolbar so graphics toolbar means this one which which comprises of refit zoom in zoom out repaint rendering option display style all this will be used further in the training of creo parametric i will show you all the options so this basically is called graphics toolbar file menu already i have discussed with you you can also customize this ribbon but uh, as of now i will not recommend because you are a beginner don't mess around with the functions uh, it will create a panic situation for you after that uh, we have uh, creo parametric help so here i told you right this is the command search for help any help you want like let's say i want to see my plane i will type in here plane display plane this this options they are giving whatever you want you can use it cancel it after that we have learning connector button so this you can connect you can log in with your ptc id and connect it also we have the appearance gallery so this you can see is the for the appearance i don't have any appearance applied to it right now so that is uh, not that much used in mechanical um, the mostly design or uh, design part is the main uh, thing in mechanical apart from that uh, appearance aesthetics uh, will come later it's the secondary part apart from this i think we have covered all the uh, basics of creo parametric and uh, this is just the introduction so don't panic and leave the video right now i will see you guys in the next tutorial with the further explanation of creo parametric tools how to use uh, model function model ribbon tree uh, especially sketch extrude options these all engineering options that are there and we will learn slowly and steadily about creo parametric so yeah make sure you uh, like this video um, put a comment if you have any doubts and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next tutorial peace